Hi guys and girls, I'm Tim Von D and I'd like to talk to you about ASIC quality and GPUs. Determining the ASIC quality of your chip should be your first step if you plan on overclocking. Not only just determining your ASIC quality, but from seeing your, your memory clocks, your core clocks, your voltage, your amps, to see everything that you may be putting through through MSI or Sapphire Tricks, GPU-Z by Tech Power Up is the right tool to use. If you open up Tech Power Up's GPU-Z and go up to this top left corner, click on the icon, go down to Read ASIC Quality, my card is a 63.6% and it shows right here low quality would be the higher default voltage, higher power consumption, lower overclocking on stock or air cooled, and higher if you had water. Now with a high ASIC quality you have lower default voltage, power consumption, higher overclocking on the stock air cooling system, but lower overclocking on water. I originally thought my card, having dual BIOS using Switch 1, that it was a high ASIC quality card. Later I determined it wasn't. On Switch 1 I was running 1050 millivolts stock, and when I went to Switch 2, restarted the computer, MSI noticed it was at 1175, so I was like, hold up, maybe this isn't a high quality card, high quality chipset. So I did, I checked GPU-Z, after I had researched, found out that ASIC quality is pretty important. I found that 63.6 uh, is probably lower quality uh, on the scale. It's still a good card. It still overclocks pretty well. I'm right now I'm at 1125 and 1575 on the memory, and it's it's been running stable. One last thing, find out your ASIC quality. If you don't have a budget to water cool and you get a low quality card, go ahead and RMA it. There's a chance you can get a higher quality card if you're planning on only air cooling, and that'd be the way to go. As I said in the beginning, I'm Tim Bondi. I'm glad to help you out. Thanks for watching.